another cup of Lipton tea. Lipton tea, the brisk tea. Delicious Lipton soup. And tempting frosty desserts present Arthur Godfrey's Helen Scout. <laughs> Lipton soup so thrifty, delicious, yes indeed. Wholesome homemade frosty you make with ease and speed. Lipton tea's a brisk tea, drink it every day. Now here comes out the God, free the talent's on its way. And now here's that man himself, Arthur Godfrey. Thank you so much, George Bryan and Jerry Bressler and all the little Bresslers and thank you folks. It's nice to see you again, but what you're doing in here on a lovely night like this, I'll never know. You know, I never cease to be amazed at it. I got a, had a feller look up some statistics for me today. I'm just full of them. Tonight... In case, if you really want a piece of useless information, tonight is the 343rd Talent Scout program. Tonight. I, I sincerely, re really, I, I never cease to be amazed and uh, always humbly grateful for the continued interest that you nice folk take in this show and in our efforts to help along those who sometimes find it tough to knock on the door, as you see, of the big time. The first Talent Scout show was on the 2nd of July in 1946, and we were sustaining, as it's so called, uh, that is, we were doing it for free for uh, a year, and a year later, in, in 1947, the Lipton Company joined us, and we've been doing it for Uncle Sam ever since, and delighted to. And I want you to know, since 1947, a whole batch of noodles have gone over the dam since then. <laughs> but in our orchestra over here, I thought you folks might be interested in this. Every week I always introduce you the fine gentlemen, members of 802, New York, paid up, and the lovely lady, Pearl Shertoff, the harpist over there. Uh, I thought you might be interested to know this, that yesterday, the 15th of May, the Sons of Israel Congregation in Laconia, New Hampshire, dedicated its new community center, community center to her late father, Max Shertak, in New Hampshire. <laughs> And her mother, incidentally, last year was chosen New Hampshire Woman of the Year for her many years of kindliness and charity to others. That's a very fine family, that Chertok bunch over there. <laughs> and she is married to a gentleman with a very distinguished looking beard. Beautiful. <laughs> we call him Whiskers, isn't that what we call him? Yeah. yeah. Uh, some other things I want to tell you. On the 20th of May, what night is that, George? This Friday? The 20th of May on uh, Ed Morrow's person-to-person um, -person program, the guests will be Peter Lynn Hayes and Mary Healy. They go to their home. And all the way out to Omaha, to the home uh, so often have I told you, I wish I knew one word to describe this guy. But if ever there was the right man in the right job at the right time, this is the man, General and Mrs. LeMay. <laughs> That'll be Friday, so don't miss that because you'll never see Kurt on the radio or the television very often. He's a very quiet guy and likes to stay in the background, but... You'll have a chance to meet him Friday. I sure would tune it in if I were you. Now, let's see. What else do we have? I think that's it. Oh, yeah, one other thing. You're all interested in the big heavyweight championship fight tonight, huh? Um, 
That's between Rocky Marciano and Don, is it Cockell or Cockle? Don Cockle? He's an Englishman and, and uh, he hasn't fought here very often and folks have a tough time remembering his name. And I was just thinking that if it goes as usual, after the fight tonight, he'll have trouble remembering his own name. <laughs> That's the way it goes. <laughs> There's one other thing. I got a letter from Alaska. This is the Life of Riley Club on the Seward Highway in Seward, Alaska. Liquor license number 6862. <laughs> Says so on the letterhead. Dear Arthur, you seem to be able to talk a person into doing anything. I wonder if you could talk a piano player, one who can sing, into coming to Alaska for 200 a week plus fare. I want one with an hourglass figure with all the sand in the top. <laughs> I just understood what he meant. <laughs> he doesn't care what time it is. She must be over 21 and a good personality. Keep your eye open for a gal like that for him, will you? 200 a week and plus the fare in Alaska. Uh, I've had worse jobs than that. How about you, Mike? You want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Mike can play the piano, but he... No, he won't do, no. Okay, that's... <laughs> That'll be all of the statistics. We, we better get into the show proper here. We got some talent scouts to meet, and they tell me some good ones. I meet them. I meet them with you, you know. I haven't met them yet either. And I'd like to have you meet with me a Mrs. Ginny Sattler. Mrs. Sattler, how do you do? There we are. Where do you come from? Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati. your friends tonight from Ohio, huh? Is there an organization here from Ohio? Did you hear what they said, Joy? Say it again. Sullivan? What's that, ice cream? Oh, high school! Sullivan High School! Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Where's Sullivan? Do you know? I don't know. What? <laughs> oh, 60 miles south of Cleveland is a town called Sullivan, and the whole high school is here? Just a senior class. Well, well, well. Welcome. Welcome to New York. And I hope you have a nice time. You've got some nice weather for it. Gee, that's great. Uh, but back to you now. What, what, you, you're married, obviously. Yes, sir. Do you have any little Sattlers? No. No? And what's your hubby do? Well, he's a bass player in this group, and he also teaches at the College of Music in Cincinnati. Oh, oh, he teaches the bass? Well, he teaches theory and history of music. I see. This, uh, this group that you have brought, what's the name of it? It's the Teddy Raymore Quartet. It's a wonderful vocal instrumental group. Mm -hmm. so, do you know the personnel? Of course you do. Yes. Uh, Carol, Carol Shane is the vocalist, and she also uh, plays cocktail drums. And, uh, cocktail drums? Cocktail yeah. drums, uh-huh. Those little things, it's cocktail drums? Uh, oh, what do you know? I never the, heard the, that one before. The big one. Oh, the big one. That's a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. And uh, Teddy Raymore is the leader of the group. He plays piano. Uh -huh. And Larry Gilbert plays trumpet and bongo drums. Those are the little ones. Oh, those are the little ones. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, my husband, Bob Sattler, plays bass. Well, and they sing, too? Mm -hmm. And where have they worked? Uh, they have worked at uh, Danny's Musical Bar in Cincinnati and Sammy's 21 Club. And they've also done uh, some television work and some recording. Uh -huh. Danny's in uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati and, and Sammy's. Sammy's. <laughs> are they competitive places? Uh, no, they uh, really were one, uh, oh. and they changed oh, hands. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Sad. <laughs> you mean Danny sold out to Sammy? <laughs> That's very cute. 
All right, Mrs. Sadler, it's nice to know you, and we'd like to present your husband and his quartet here, the Teddy Raymore Quartet. Thank you. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, we want to be one, want to be one of the number, when the saints go marching in. Oh, we want to be one of their number when the saints go marching Ted. I guess we better get to the next talent scout Thank right away. Now, pick me a winner, will you? Bring them out first in all the same order in which they appeared. First, Kathy Skylar. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. The meter shows the reaction gives the winner tonight as the Teddy Raymore Quartet. the folks to think. They did it. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you ever so much, folks, and good night for lifting. <laughs>